automatic block system. Wherever trains are working on automatic block system, the line between two adjacent block stations is divided into a series of automatic block signaling sections and entry into each is governed by a stop signal. This stop signal identified by black letter A on white plate is called as automatic signal. The line shall be provided with continuous track circuiting or axle counters. The track circuits or axle counters shall so control the stop signal governing the entry into an automatic block signaling section. The signal shall not assume an off aspect unless the line is clear not only up to the next stop signal in advance but also for an adequate distance beyond it and the signal is automatically placed to on as soon as it is passed by the train unless otherwise directed by approved special instructions the adequate distance shall not be less than 120 meters. Now, let us see the functioning of the automatic signals. A stop signal which can be operated either as an automatic stop signal or as a manual stop signal as required is known as semi-automatic stop signal. When a semi-automatic stop signal works as an automatic stop signal, it assumes on and off aspects automatically according to the conditions of the automatic block signaling sections ahead. When a semi-automatic stop signal works as a manual stop signal, it assumes off aspect when operated manually. When a semi-automatic stop signal works as an automatic stop signal, the A marker provided under the signal is illuminated. When the A marker is extinguished, the signal shall be deemed to work as a manual stop signal. To pass this signal, either signal has to be taken off or written authority T369-3B has to be given to pass the signal in on position. Now, let us see the duties of LP and guard in case automatic signal is showing stop aspect. When a local pilot finds an automatic stop signal with an A marker at on, he shall bring his train to a stop in the rear of the signal. The on position of an automatic stop signal may be due to the presence of a train in the automatic signaling section ahead, including the adequate distance beyond it, or due to an obstruction on the track, or a broken or a displaced rail, or any other cause. After bringing his train to a stop in the rear of the signal, the loco pilot shall wait there 
for one minute by day, two minutes by night. If after waiting for this period, the signal continues to remain at on, he shall give long whistle code and exchange signals with the guard and then proceed with a speed not exceeding 10 kilometers per hour till he passes next automatic signal by exercising great caution so as to stop short of any obstruction. The guard shall show a stop hand signal towards the rear when the train has been so stopped at an automatic stop signal. After passing an automatic stop signal at on, the loco pilot of the following train hauled by any locomotive shall ensure a minimum distance of 150 meters or two clear OHE mast on electrified sections is maintained between his train and the preceding train or any obstruction on the line. However, the distance may be reduced to 75 meters or one clear OHE mast in case of EMU train following. Gate signal in automatic signaling section is identified by G marker and when gate is open, there is no illuminated A marker. When gate is closed, illuminated A marker is available. When gate signal is showing stop aspect and illuminated A marker available, loco pilot shall observe rules for passing automatic signal at on. When gate signal is showing stop aspect and illuminated A marker not available, loco pilot shall observe rules for passing gate signal at on and automatic signal at on.